hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting badge which is nothing but setup case escalation and entitlement so this is also a prerequisite for our admin certification if you need solution for any of these challenges playlist will be available in our channel do check that so let's take up our first challenge now which is create support processes unit so once if you launch your playground let's go to our service setup click on the gear icon so from here i'm just going to click on get started under add your users click on get started so once if you click on it let's fill up this one for that let's go to our challenge and scroll up so that you will find all the details right over here so i'll just complete each and every field so just fill each and every field like this and for this mail you are just going to use everything as it is whichever is given in our challenge followed by your initial followed by ddmm and yy format of today's date so once if it is done if you click on this username text box you will get this auto populated so other than that first name and last name you are going to copy and paste it from our challenge and choose this profile as custom support profile so once if it is done don't forget to click on this add user so you will get this message until then wait so once if you get that message click on finish and now let's go to our quick find and search for profile and click on profiles meanwhile let's go back to our challenge so here we are going to copy this which is arsha major solar so from here we are going to click on edit next to custom support profile click on edit and if you scroll down from here you will find certain admin permission so which is right over here we are going to enable one such option scroll down so we are going to enable this lightning experience user so once if it is enabled scroll up and click on save and now let's enter user click on users and here we are going to click on edit next to our profile and here in company we are going to paste the data whatever we have copied so once if it is done click on save now click on this home tab again and you will find this customize case status click on get started so here we are going to create certain status for that let's scroll down i'm just going to copy this one after another and paste it over here once it is done click on add so do this for another two fields also paste it click on add and let's copy our final data as well paste it over here and click on add and here let's short it out so for that i'm just going to pull this close to bottom so click on this move close down just follow this until this is going down followed by escalated click down down followed by down so this is the order that yours should look like after doing this click on save and now let's go to our quick find and search for support process click on the result followed by new let's create a new support process for that let's scroll down and copy this support process name and paste it right over here so existing support process should be master as given over here 
so let's copy description as well and paste it over here in description field once if it is done click on save so in this we are going to remove on hold then scroll down and click on save and again we are going to create one more support process click on new so for this let's copy our process name followed by description copy this and paste it over here so for this existing support process it is given as product support process now click on save and here we are going to remove all of these three which is product defect lock product defect fixed and escalator and just add on old to selected value so once if it is done click on save now again go to our home tab so from here i'm just going to click on this view all which you can find it on your right hand side and followed by click to customize so from here we are going to select case in quick find search for case once you get the result click on it select fields and relationship and click product so for that let's search it over here once if you get the result we are going to choose it from pick list not that look up it is pick list click on it now scroll down so here you will find the values related list click on new let's add four more pick list values for that let's scroll down and copy all of these four and paste it over here once it is done click on save so after saving we are going to deselect certain values so we are going to enable only these four which we have added just now so other than that let's select all of these values so once if you select this click on deactivate selector followed by ok now you can get to see only these four values whatever we have added just now and now scroll up and here you will find back to case fields just click on it and choose type in quick find click on type so here you will find case pick list value so which is right over here and here i'm just going to click on new let's copy our pick list values for that let's come back and scroll down so that you will get all the values right over here copy this and paste it right over there followed by save now again click on back to case fields which is next to type and here we are going to choose this case page layouts and here click new let's fill details over here so copy this name and paste it over here so once if it is pasted just check this checkbox let's leave this as none for existing page layout on followed by save and now by scrolling down you will get this case details so here i'm just going to drag and drop this case reason followed by product which is right over here followed by type you can find it here so just drag and drop so once if it is done click on this layout properties and here i'm just going to check these two checkbox followed by ok followed by save now click new again so here for existing page layout we are going to give product support case layout let's give our page layout name so which you can find it 
last year in our challenge itself so copy this and paste it over here and enable this which is feed based layout followed by save and here if you scroll down you will find product and if you place your cursor over here you will find this properties so click on this property here you can change it to read only and required and for this challenge we are not going to do any of this for removing also you are going to place your cursor over here and click on this remove for product as well as for case reason click on remove so you can see that both of those product and case reasons are not present now click on this layout properties again and here we are going to ensure show on edit page and default got selected so it got selected click ok followed by save and guys let's create record types now for that scroll down and click on this record types followed by new and existing record type should be master let's copy remaining details which is right over here copy this and paste it over here for label and record type name should be auto populated for support process we are going to choose product support process let's copy description so which is given right over here copy this and paste it over there so once if it is done make sure that active checkbox is done followed by make available is also done now click on next so here for layout let's select product support case layout scroll down followed by save and new again we are going to create a new one let's do this for existing record type choose product support for label let's go back and copy so which is inquiry copy this and paste it over here and record type name is auto populated let's do this for description so copy this and paste it over here and for support process we are going to choose inquiry process check this active check this make available now scroll down and click on next so here choose inquiry case layout scroll down and click on save and here in the same page we are going to click on edit next to type under pick list available so here we are going to remove mechanical electrical electronic structural remove this followed by problem feature request and question click on remove so once if it is done scroll down and click on save now we are going to click record types again and select this product support record type which we have just created and in pick list available for editing we are going to click on edit next to type fill so here we are going to remove certain things which are mechanical electrical electronic structural and other click on remove followed by product shipping and warranty click on remove so once if it is done scroll down and save now let's go to our app launcher and search for service and click on service and in this global search box we are going to enter pat so search this contact and if you get the result click on patch similar So here you will find the case related tab click on new select inquiry for record type followed by next 
so for this we are going to change status as working followed by type as warranty followed by case origin as phone let's scroll down let's copy this subject and paste it over here do the same for description as well let's copy this and paste it over here so once if it is done click on save so hopefully we have completed this challenge as well let's go back and scroll down click on verify step so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge and all of these remaining challenges will be available in the same playlist do check that see you all on next video until then bye bye